Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So, our fifth module of activity 300 is with international trade and its features. So, uh, for the last last module, we have discussed about the income, national income, or the domestic domestic trading, or the income earned from domestic trading, which is all under consideration under our inside a country. To continue, I have told you the current business activities and the current kind of model of production, that GDP, NNP, or all other features we have studied according to a intra or intra. Uh, trading activities that is inside a country so it's all deal with a particular a country itself so in this module we are dealing with this in this module we are uh, spreading or we are uh, revealing the total trade uh, features of the whole world whole international world so international trade means the trading of goods and services or business uh, This is corporations between the countries. Can normally e module deal with. So international trade simply explains with exchange of capital goods and services across international borders or territories because of need. Because of need means uh, the all and the, the circulation of goods and services are basically upon the need, the basic function or the basic problem, or we want to. Uh, design or either production and document then first consider the need or the problem right so what is the need of a particular product we are all producing your own manufacturing every single product by uh, knowing or by analyzing the problem and what is the need of the particular product need or for the satisfaction of the need of the foreign and uh, domestic customers or consumers we are exporting or importing any type of uh, goods and services across the country or borders and thereby occupying and thereby uh, occurring as something income and by uh, developing our business activities throughout the world so exchange of capital goods and services across international borders for terrorists this in, it include both export and import also because of trade. So we know that a domestic activity or so domestic trading is not that much complex as compared to uh, international trade. So there are so many uh, uh, so many formalities, law and order issues are there, and so many paperwork are there, and so many risks are there, and so many barriers are there. For trading with other countries so if you are uh, producing or we are manufacturing a single product in our country and we are um, and we are trading it in our sing single country itself there is not that much risk as come to international trade we know the customers and we the transportation facilities and the transportation charges are very less and there is no much paperwork are there and the language problem is not there religious problem is not there cultural problem is not there and we have an open market there is a, no restrictions for any kind of market in our country so domestically we can sell any type of goods and services in our country without any risk so international trading is a type of trading which occur so much risk and more risk than our domestic uh, trading so to uh, to simplify or to make comfortable the international trade there are several organizations are there and so, so many cooperative firms are there which deals with the which 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 made which are made to act a to act a media in between the two countries so many organizations and companies are there so a world trade organization the second point to ease and justify the flows of trade between countries or different economic standing in a modern era some international economic organization are formed. An example for that type of organization are world trade organizations. So all trading activities across any country or across any commerce. So many countries uh, which are 
performing or cooperating for trading are not in a friendly manner so you know that the wars are takes place or several disputes are takes place according to religion according to culture or according to so many military purposes across the countries so you know that india and pakistan are very much rivalry countries but there are some uh, trading activities happening between india and pakistan also so there are several risk factors for trading with those countries which are not in a friendly manner for the for such uh, trading activities we need a, a mediator or we need a type of uh, organizations which cover our uh, rival rivalry activities and which enhance the trading activities between the both the countries so world trade organization is type of organization which enhance the trading between the two countries and to control the disputes between the both countries and to enhance the total trade activities so by international trading by the main advantage and many features of this international trade is that we will get a several type of product from different types of country so we hence today we are using a mobile phones which is prepared by japan or prepared by china or prepared from any more countries we are using our cars which is prepared from america uh, germany uh, italy or etc anything we have using today this not that produced in our country itself this also importing imported goods are the imported uh, cooperating activities are the happening in our day to day really using activities so a type of organization is the, the all the type of this country act, trading activities are registered under this type of organization and this organization is controlled in the trading happening all over the country these organizations work towards the facilitation and growth of the international trade so international trade is a much important thing that must be very importantly taken care of because of we are getting several type of products which are not uh, several differentiated products which are not in a single substitute so we are to use different types of products or different types of what uh, quality products from different countries there must be a perfect trading activities between those countries so this type of organizations are helping to make this possible so trading globally may give cons consumers and countries the opportunity to expose to new markets and products so many consumers and many people many citizens living in our country will also get several jobs and new market uh, to market available economic strategies happening to by this international trade we know there are some many foreign billionaires which is brown and water from our country like usually devi pilla or several uh, several billionaires or many type of uh, entrepreneurs or businessmen are there working in different regions in, in several countries so our citizen in india or every country in every citizen every country will get an opportunity to work in every country because of this trading organizations or by this type of international trade right if if gulf if gulf countries will restrict the indian workers or that uh, gulf countries will restrict the indian entrepreneurs in their country we will not get any type of job which is under control of the india indian company will not get a job but the indian company will work what will happen the indian company will work in our trading in our company will work in our country they will work in our country അങ്ങനെ അടുത്ത് നമുക്ക് അവിടെ കമ്പനി നടത്താനോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇവിടുന്ന വർക്കേഴ്സിനെ എക്സ്പീ അവിടെ ജോലി കിട്ടാനോ സാധ്യമുള്ളൂ സൊ ട്രേഡിങ് ഗ്ലോബലി വിൽ നോട്ട് ഗീവ് ദ ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ഫോർ ട്രേഡിങ് ഇസ് എൽഫ് ബട്ട് ഓൾസോ ഗീവ് സെവറൽ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ജോബ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഓൾസോ സൊ ട്രേഡിങ് ഗ്ലോബലി ഗീവ്സ് മോർ കൺസ്യൂമേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് കൺട്രീസ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി എക്സ്പോസ് ടു മാർക്കറ്റ് സെയിൽ പ്രൊഡക്ട്സ് സൊ ഇറ്റ് എക്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഗീവ്സ് എ പാത്ത് വേ ടു പെർഫോം അവർ ട്രേഡിങ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ടു ഓൾ ഓവർ ദ കൺട്രി ആൻഡ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് job opportunities or new opportunities for uh, entrepreneurial or type of market activities in all over country so we can see every type of product in every single type of product in every part like i said mobile phone and cars so not uh, by ignore that two type of products we can see foods clothes are the spare parts from for our vehicles spare parts for our machineries oils are the jewelry items are the wines stock currencies and water we, 
by uh, listing we can list all type of products which can import and export from our country we are using several foreign products in our country and we are also exporting our items and commodities to other nations also so, uh, so along with this type of trading activity so along with this type of commodities which you are using we can also trade our tourism or our non uh, non price non price trading it has services are also we can trade it like tourism tourism can be developed in our country by attracting the foreigners like നമുക്ക് ഫോറിനേഴ്സിനെ അട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം ടൂറിസത്തിൻ്റെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് അങ്ങോട്ടും ഇങ്ങോട്ട് ഒരുപാട് ആൾക്കാർ എന്ത് വരുന്നുണ്ട് ഫോറിനേഴ്സ് ഇങ്ങോട്ടേക്ക് വരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ അത് അതുമൂലം നമുക്ക് എന്ത് വരുന്നുണ്ട് ട്രേഡിങ് ഇവിടെ നടത്താൻ പറ്റുന്നുണ്ട് സോ അതായത് സർവീസസ് നമ്മൾ രണ്ട് രാജ്യം തമ്മിലുള്ള ഏതെങ്കിലും ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസും നമുക്ക് ഈ കല്ലിൽ എടുത്താൽ പറ്റും സോ സാധനങ്ങൾ കച്ചവടം ചെയ്യുന്നതാണെങ്കിൽ അതിലും വരുത്താം അതല്ലെങ്കിൽ സർവീസസ് വിച്ച് വി ക്യാൻ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ടു ടൂറിസംസ് ബാങ്കിങ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് അത് ലൈക്ക് ഡെപ്പോസിറ്റ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെന്റ്സ് അത് happening in uh, foreign foreign amount of foreign currencies other consulting consulting companies other consultancy services in all rajya thole namakku ivadana or company own cheyana nadi consultancy services vechittu namakku ore rajyathil poi work cheyanulla facilities other and transportation facilities also there like vehicles vehicles matte karyangal okke namakku ella rajyathum available aayittu ella rajyathum kachchodam cheyan mattum adu this type of international trade inde is a feature of this international trade so as i said carrying out a trade internationally or international trade is much less complex than our domestic trade this is all because of currency issues currency is mean in every country the currency a currency value is different and the currency in this case here we are using rupees in dubai we are using dirhams and in every countries uh, dollars are the in the in dollars also there are several aspects us dollars are the singapore dollars other in every in every country the currency level is changing and the um, the value of the currency also different so there is a much more risk factors there are many factors to consider and it under a complex features that is the currency the government policies the all policies by uh, the we have said that there is a world trade organization the organization policy is somewhat same for every country but the Uh, policies owned by the government at the country according to or dealing with this international trade will be different so indians swigirikkana nayangal aarikkala mattu rajyathilla authorities swigirikkunnundavu so adu kondu namakku ella rajyathum ore pole trade nadathan mattanamilla namakku india il selva ua il nalla trading nadathan mattanamilla adu namakku vera rajyathil nadathan mattanamilla like uh, for studying also we can move to dubai or we can move to some other countries very easily but we want to move if we are choosing to move to like foreign countries like Germany or America, we need several type of paperwork, other, several type of activities and several type of uh, papers or exams. We don't have to worry about trading, we don't have to worry about trading. We don't have to worry about trading, we don't have to worry about trading. We don't have to worry about trading, we don't have to worry about trading. There is some risk factors, 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 there is some risk factors for trading. Today is the slowest market in France. Like, when trade takes between two or more states, Uh, when trade takes between two or more states or uh, nations factors like currency government policies economy judicial system laws and markets influence the trade these factors are main the type of uh, factors that influence the international trades so um, along with this type of uh, factors that influence in the international trade we want to know what are the main features or what are the main factors which influence the international trade so before that what is the different main difference between this domestic uh, domestic trade and international trade so domestic trade nammal kaiyinu kaiyinu modulo ok padichathu na domestic trades so in domestic trades we know that risk factor is very much low Tra- all of the services like transportation and low and order issues are very much low in domestic uh, domestic trade language problem also there is no language problem why we are uh, selling our products in, in now india in any very states of india there is no risk and no issues we can deal with right so uh, what when uh, performing a international trade with other countries you want to know you want to know about the market structure you want to know about the uh, cultural chela karyangal chela sathu vekkan pattilla chela rajyathu poi kenna chela saaranam avade 
വെക്കാൻ പറ്റാത്ത വശങ്ങളൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ അത് അറിയണമെന്നില്ല നമുക്ക് selling our products in our country there is no that much risk of tax issues and tariff issues you can sell our products by adding some additives namukku pricing ne kuchu padichilla cost plus pricing different types of pricing we have studied so we can choose our product price according to our cost of production namukku namukku idunu undaakan pattu like for production undaakunna cost vechu namukku finance cheyan pattu but when we are exporting any type of products or we are importing any type of products in international trade the government or the enforcement or uh, like features they will, they will um, imposes a tariff additional tariffs so that import 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 ya monitla paisa export ya monitla additional paisa anganakke verumba namukku endu cheyan pattum ee parana rate le namukku paisa business cheyidalinal we will we will get lost like we lose them boy so there may see a government tariffs are the in every uh, product for every product that we are importing and exporting and also uh, it is dealing with price like paisa la vechittu amma tariff varunu so along with this tariff there are also imposes non tariff barriers are also the tariff barriers and non tariff barriers are also the tariff barriers include the uh barriers which is dealing with the price or the amount of money which we are along to pay for duty for exporting or importing right but uh, non tariff barriers are also there which include different uh, languages in different countries legal system cultural system are also influence in international trade these are all type of barriers that are not coming under the money mar paisa vechittalla language problem or language issues are there for several countries legal systems of every country are different cultural systems in every country are different so along with the tariff barriers it is money barriers we can also say non money or no we, can, we already said about price competition and non pricing competitions so like we can say prior barriers and the tariff and non tariff barriers are also there so another type of the another difference between the domestic product domestic trade and international trade is such that the factors of production capital and labor capital labor commodities namu padichirunna capital labor are the main uh, factors of production so the main factors of production is capital and labor so we can mobilize or we can uh, solve this all type of issues for capital and labor inside a domestic country we namukku rajyathin agathana ngirkaru kooda ayittu namukku domestic activities anna namukku solve cheyan pattu but when we are choosing this type of uh, factors and we are allocate this type of factors for international countries capital and labor for trading then we are using a type of labor for international trading namukku porthe pore aala ayachu trade cheyanu like namukku porthe pore invest cheyanu okay illa oru vaadu barriers are there oru vaadu complex oru vaadu chelavu odiyum veru features aanu ee illa karyangal so there are several factors influence in, in international trade along with the domestic trade so there is a huge difference between domestic trade and international trade so a difference onna kanu manasilakki vekka short note aagi ittingal prepare right and you want to study about the main factors influence in international trade main factors influence in the international trade so first one is impact of inflation so we already studied detail about inflation in our last module so inflation is the increase in amount increase in amount of uh, or increase in the price of any commodities or goods or services in our country or in a system or in an economic system so impact of inflation will uh, affect very badly for a country or will be effective for another country also for example one one thing that is dosham one thing that is lagam kudunna oru varu inflation varunnathu right so just think about a situation where the uh, price goes on increasing we have a increase in price or inflation for our country nammala rajyathu ella saranathukum vela koodala nu vicharikka right and we are uh, we are already in a trading with our gulf countries nu vicharikka another country like uh, dubai take as example of dubai so when the currency value goes on decreasing and the uh, our product price of our product every product increases in our country that is inflation forces in our country there is a possibility of 
negative results the inflation results in the g will badly affects in the exporting of the type of product la namaku illa paisa kootikala saaram kodachu namaku matti rajyangalukku aavashyam undengalana nammal idu kayatti vandu cheyyunnathu but matti rajyangalukku trading nu vanda saaram nammal kayatti vandu cheyyathu so inflation occurs in our country means there is a huge level of stock which is the abundantly placed in this uh, companies the outsourcing or the uh, exporting of that type of product will be restricted and will be banned allegal ban jira method kayitu vende alavu koray kayitu vende alavu koranja nanu nammal kayitu paisa koodi kenna namukku kayitu kachodam cheyan mana chila company lokke edition national income thane baadikum oru vaara karyam thane baadikum like inflation will happen diverse affect negative effects for our country and which will be fair for other type of country like gulf countries so idhe sadhanathine porathu vela koravanengil adu ingotte import cheyapadum anganeyanu le so the trading between the dubai and uh, other countries will be happening in normally but the importing amount or importing factors facilities will be higher than exporting so it is a favorable for other countries which is a less uh, inflation affected countries and it is a, a negative effect for a higher inflation affected countries so inflation so if a country inflation rate increases related to the countries which within trades um, the if x and y are the two countries which are in trade if the inflation rate of x will be higher the exporting of x to y will be less and importing of y to x will be higher our logic are the same if x and y are in both trading together when a higher inflation occurs for x country the exporting of the x from the y will be decreases because of the higher prices the y will not be accepting any kind of product from the x because of the higher price but the importing of the product from y will be higher because of the lower price for the same commodity that we are trading adey bolatheyo adine co substitute aitla products gal namukku angane ingote veranengil adhe endha adine idu koodu right so that is the impact of inflation for the international trade so it will be enhancing or it will be affecting for a country both in a same situation that impact of national income second one is impact of national income so impact na- national income means any kind of inflations self inflations only chela company la kadhiya laabu undaka the total national income may be higher like inflation sambhavi chalu total money value for a there will be loss for some commodities for loss for some companies when losses for some uh, or benefits for some companies also so if the total economic value or total income value for a country is increasing by the uh, national income in fact national income and the sambhavikunnathu that will angane sambhavikunnathu ingane artham thana ee national income kooduvana or company la nadakkum anchal kudala trading aa kam ee rajyam nadakkunnathu thana artham that is this is a conception of goods services should be higher consume cheyada mathra consumption is kudiya mathra me laabu undakkunnathu consumption is kudiya mathra me laabu undakkunnathu adu kondu thane Uh, so if the national income of a company is increasing that means the consumption of goods and resources also is increasing that means the percentage of that increasing consumption will most likely to reflect an increase in demand for foreign goods so namaku ipparana consumption koodi kanya namma naatte kittatha avasthale ee nan parantund supply adhigamba alagu നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം കൂടെ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അധികം സാധനങ്ങൾ വിറ്റ് പോകുന്നു എന്നാണ് അർത്ഥം സോ ഈ കമ്പനികൾക്ക് ഇൻഫ്ലേഷൻ സംഭവിച്ച കമ്പനികൾക്ക് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ഇൻകം ഇതിനേക്കാൾ കൂടുതലായിട്ട് വരുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ദ പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഇൻഫ്ലേഷൻസ് കൂടി കഴിഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന എമൗണ്ട് കൂടും നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻസ് ഒക്കെ കൂടായിരിക്കും പൈസ കൂടുന്നുണ്ടാവുക സോ ദ പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഫെസിലിറ്റീസ് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഫാക്ടറീസ് വിൽ ബി ലെസ് ഫങ്ഷനിങ് ചെറിയ രീതിയിൽ ഫങ്ഷനിങ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടാവുക സോ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ പൈസ കൂട്ടി നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം കൂടുന്നുണ്ടാവുക പക്ഷേ കൂടുതൽ കൂടുതൽ പ്രൊഡക്ട്സ് അവൈലബിൾ ആയിരിക്കണമെന്നില്ല സോ അങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടാകുമ്പോൾ ആൾക്കാർ കൺസപ്ഷൻ കൂടുകയാണ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം കൂടുകയാണെന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇതിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരുപാട് ട്രേഡിങ് നടക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഒരുപാട് കൺസപ്ഷൻ ചായത്ത് നടക്കണമെന്നാണ് അർത്ഥം റൈറ്റ് സോ വെൻ ദ നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ഇസ് ഇൻക്രീസിങ് ദ ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് കൺസപ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഗുഡ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻക്രീസിങ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദർ റെക്വസ് എ സ്കാസിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ പ്രൊഡക്ട്സ് ഇൻ അവർ കൺട്രീസ് സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ എൻഹാൻസ് ദ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഇൻക്രീസ് ദ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ ഫോറിൻ ഗുഡ്സ് ടു ഇമ്പോർട്ട് യുവർ കൺട്രി നമ്മൾ രാജ്യത്ത് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന സാധനങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ട് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം കൂടുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ രാജ്യത്ത് സാധനം കിട്ടാത്ത അവസ്ഥ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് ഫോറിൻ കൺട്രീസിൽ നിന്നുള്ള സാധനങ്ങൾക്കുള്ള ഡിമാൻഡും ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി കൂടും റൈറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ഇൻ ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ ട്രേഡ് സോ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫ്ലേഷൻ ഡൈവേഴ്സിൽ നെഗറ്റീവ്ലി എഫക്ട് ഫോർ ദ കൺട്രി വിച്
get higher inflation the same the impact nation in english nation also favor a, a foreign country to invest more money or import more items to that country which is occurring for nas- higher national level by that by ex- importing more equipments or more commodities from the foreign countries the economic value of foreign country will also increases so national income is both favor both the countries as well Please note on the points, main points, factors influencing infra- in, uh, international trade, impact of inflation, impact national income. In the election, I will tell you about the right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The next one is impact of government policies. As I said, the government policies for every country will be different. In every country, the impact value or the government policies which is adopting under the rules which are governing over the international trade or trading for domestic or international trade will be different for different countries. Like some countries will uh, ban some products from the other countries or some uh, country will ban the products that are going to export it. So, if you have a government or a government or Okay, each and every government have a, that right to ban any product that are importing to that country. So a country's government policies will diversely or it will be a great effect on international trade. If a company favors any type of product or it is ready to import or export any type of product, there will be a very good enhancing facilities for international trade. But if a company's policy is restricting some uh, commodities or they are banning some commodities to export or import to a country, it will negatively affect that particular trading of that particular product chain, trading between that two countries. Right? Subs- subsidies for exporters. Subsidies. So we know that there are subsidies which are allowed by government to those, subs- uh, to those commodities which are using on day to day. So if the subsidies are allowing for those products which are going to export to other countries every marketers or every entrepreneurs or every exporters will try to export more and more products to our country to obtain that subsidies a subsidy kittunnondane namakku oru vaadu labham kittu subsidies will promote uh, more exporting business or uh, which will favor for any exporters to obtain more income from that exporting material so they will try to export more and more products to any countries by uh, occurring or by uh, collecting the goods and services from every part of their country. Every country in all the other countries is going to export and export. They are providing or they are getting their uh, revenue more than revenue. They are getting subsidies also. So they will promote more exporting business uh, to, to any country. So it will enhance the international trade between the two countries. So the main features, and we are ex- explaining all the features which are to influence the, the international trade. And the four points we have already explained is impact on inflation, impact of national income, impact of government policies, subsidies for exporters, and next is a restriction on import. As I said, the government policies, right? Government policies. Some government are... Uh, are impregnating or they are uh, pretending to avoid or to ban some type of commodities to their country like plastic plastic items are avoid in the country center so chile rajathilla karyangal thanne vanda or rajathana trading vanda nu ikkana companies namma government namma kandittulla oru vaada vaarthukal nadanekkana karyangal aanu right chinese so, production ne kurichu ippo oru vaada vaarthukal varunnu so if a country's government imposes tax on imported goods the price of the foreign goods for consumers effectively increase. So, I'm going to only kill the restriction and under illegal. That means, first one is they, they can ban that product to their country. Totally, we can ban that product inside a country. So, by which any company cannot import the material to that country. We cannot, we will not get any type of plastic products from any country. That countries which are promoting plastic uh, plastic packets or plastic 
products will be diversely or negatively affect by that conditions ban jiya one or you can increase the tariff rate or duty rate for that type of imported goods so chale sadhanathine ban jiyana varame illa ad naattu namukku upayogikkam ivada namukku upayogikkan pattu pakshe import cheyana sadhanathine velli duty kodutha kanyar illa tax ana impose cheyyanengil if the company is imposing more and more uh, taxes or duties for tariff rate for any uh, kind of product it will uh, it will negatively affect the trading of that particular commodity to the country nammala nokku ivanga oru import cheyna facilities in every government thiruvan edukka unnikil adu ban cheyan ban cheyanu vecha nammala naattu thane ban cheyanda varu ana ban cheyunnilla engil namakku import cheyunnathu ban cheyan pattunnilla engil you can increase the government is increasing the tax or duties facilities or tariff rates for the single product which is going to import to the country which it also affect the importing of that particular commodity so restriction of imports will affect the international trade facilities next one is lack of restriction on piracy okay what is piracy means piracy nu nanga nammal oru product undaakkanengil so if the same namaku substitute kal allengil same duplicates kal form cheyunnu thalayum allengil aa oru sabbu undaagi ne piracy nu varunu right so in some cases a government can affect international trade flows by lack of restriction on piracy so international flow ne piracy inde karyangal ullu ore porathe porachal mattu rajyathil undaakkunnu chinese karyangal mattu ella rajyathil undaakkunnu thadayanulla karyangal alle karyangal kondu vannu kanyale lack of restrictions on piracy means it will promote the international trade facilities all over the country if company provide a restriction on piracy or if company uh, will uh, provide a law a law a law to a ban or ban or to restrict the product which are coming under piracy from other countries the trading between the countries will uh, affect it. so if there is no restriction lack of restriction on piracy will affect or will is a major factor for a country to import or export the type of goods and facilities from one country to another like usa china is the main uh, factors coming under like our country is coming under this factor the impact of exchange rates so exchange rate is currency value is different as i explained currency value is a uh, somewhat different for um, different countries as i said so exchanging the impact of exchange rate for different countries so what i think we are importing the rate അവിടുത്തെ ഒരുമാതിരി കണക്കായിട്ടുള്ള രീതിയിലുള്ള പ്രൈസിങ്ങും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിന് കണക്കായിട്ടുള്ള വാല്യൂ നമ്മൾ ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നു സോ അതിനും നമുക്ക് എഫക്ട് ചെയ്യും ഇതായിട്ടുള്ള കറൻസി വാല്യൂസ് അത് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഇത് ടു കൺട്രീസ് വിൽ എഫക്ട് ദ ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ട്രേഡ് സോ പ്ലീസ് നോട്ട് ഓൺ ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് പോയിന്റ് എഫക്ടിംഗ് ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ട്രേഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫ്ലേഷൻ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് പോളിസീസ് subsidies for exporters a restriction on imports lack of restriction on piracy impact of exchange rates right then we are moving to advantages and disadvantages of international trade so what are the main advantages of international trade there are several uh, points or factors which we have discussed that that affects international trade so by which we can say some of the factors that are enhancing or influencing the advantage is a positive manner and some type of factors are negatively influencing international trade right so main factors in terms of the national take can be classified into several uh, points first point is so it is very important point and this is important topic in your syllabus so please note down every point and you must write the lecture note and you must keep a separate note for every single points is listed under advantages okay so main advantages of uh, international trade first point is increase in revenues increase in revenues by exporting or importing or exporting any commodities this 
one of the top advantages of international trade is that you may increase your number of potential clients by exporting our business right if we are exporting or we are trading our community in the domestic country itself we will get a cheriyoru market nam namu thornu nadakkunnathu this domestic market which will get a small companies and small clients inside our country but we are going to export our business or we are in uh, we are developing our trading facilities all over the country or all over the world we will get more clients are there more clients from different countries are there still different countries means we will get different income from different country according to their exchange rates according to their profitable rates like over here the currency value or over there the labor over over as und we are getting clients from different countries and we will get different rate of income from different countries when we are exporting or we are going trade with other countries so our revenue will be goes on increasing when we are trading to more and more countries single country la reward country like we are if we are providing or promoting international trade you will get more and more income from different countries from different exchange rates that is the main point coming under advantage main advantage of international trade the next one is decrease the competition so decrease the competition means so you may have if you are if you are um consulting or we are trading our uh, products inside a country or inside a community but not then the short name there must be competition there will be competition for uh, the particular product or the companies which we are going to we are one of our nadin agathulla companies like we are reward distributes lo karyam we are trading to a particular country or we are trading to a particular company in a particular country there will be there is a less competition yeah. എക്സ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതുമായിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങളൊന്നും വലിയ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ ഒന്നും എവിടെയും പറഞ്ഞു കേട്ടാറില്ല നമ്മൾ രാജ്യത്ത് തന്നെ നമ്മൾ കമ്പനീസിൽ കൊടുക്കുമ്പോഴാണ് അത് കോമ്പറ്റീഷനും കാര്യങ്ങളും വരുന്നത് ബട്ട് മെനി ആർ എക്സ്പോർട്ടിംഗ് അവർ ബിസിനസ് അവർ മെനി ട്രേഡിംഗ് വിത്ത് അവർ കൺട്രി അവർ കമ്പനീസ് വിച്ച് ആർ ഡീലിംഗ് ഇൻ അവർ കമ്പനീസ് ഡെറിമസിയെ ഡിക്രീസ് കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ ട്രേഡിംഗ് സോ സോ ദ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ റിസ്ക്കേസ് വരുമിച്ച് ഓവർ ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ട്രേഡ് ബൈ കമ്പയറിംഗ് ഇറ്റ് വിത്ത് ഡൊമസ്റ്റിക് ട്രേഡ് റൈറ്റ് So other features will also be there, uh, I think time is up, so we can discuss in our next class about the advantages and disadvantages of international trade. No idea, I'm going to follow up right at present.